Hi, Anthony. This is Catherine Sharp, and this is my final um, Sunday reflection. And just wanted to start by saying thank you for um, for your leadership during this class, and thank you for um, to Dr. Patterson for a great class in um, just teaching us a ton about not just uh, leading in the sense of my original thought in leading, which uh, pertains to his question, is what I thought leadership to be was basically. Um, you're in charge, you're the leader, so now you've got to figure out how to um, get to the goal, which whatever the goal is, is it X number of sales, is it um, in healthcare, is it training the nurses in the appropriate way. But um, now looking back on seven weeks of class, it's been fun to to step back and how I see leadership differently is that it's it's truly taking characteristics that you've been given and um, and utilizing those in the best manners. And there were so many different theories and so many different um, uh, different models that we looked at. Um, an example that comes to mind that stood out one of the most was the movie Babe, and um, and just showing how how Babe was able to lead the sheep differently than the sheep dog was um, because they were gifted in different ways. And and just applying that to as I now move forward in leading people that I am to look at them in different ways. The picture also that he gave of the lens and how um, how we have to make sure that our followers, that we develop into other leaders, that, that they we have to see them through the right lens and they have to be able to know us clearly as leaders in order then to move an entire organization in one way. But in doing that, we have to um, lead them and meet them where they are and and pertain to, pertaining to the gifts that they've been given. So that's something that really stands out for me a lot. Um, another another thing was the control paradigm versus the commitment paradigm. And um, I think in leadership, again, just because a, an org chart shows someone as a leader, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be their giftedness. And so I think it's easy to fall then if you're all of a sudden placed in that position. We have some directors who were phenomenal nurses who were all of a sudden placed in leadership positions because of their quality of nursing, but they tanked as a leader. And we as an organization, I feel like, um, failed in some instances in, in recognizing that they may not be the best in leading people. So then when they get into that position, they take over in the control uh, mechanisms versus the care, the commitment, which is exhausting as a leader, is if you feel that you have to control a person's actions and their task um, because, because you ultimately don't trust that they have the skills to lead on their own, then you're going to, um, I think you're going to fry as an organization. And so, so just the key takeaway for me is just that, is just that before we identify leaders in our hospital, we need to make sure that they have the qualities necessary, the charisma, the, um, the humility, the, the desire for transformational leadership and not controlling. Um, it all has to be there in order to, for us to take an organization to the next level. So, um, so with that, I just again want to say thank you. Um, I, I will take these uh, nuggets, so many that I've learned and um, so many different theories and looking forward to using them in my professional life moving forward. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.